Hi everyone, today we are going to talk about the supremacy of Captain Vikram Batra who was an Indian Army officer. He was awarded the Paramvir Chakra, India's highest and most prestigious award for his actions during the 1999 Kargil War, during which he led one of the, one of the most difficult mountain warfare operations in Indian military history. Internal messages of the Pakistani Army intercepted by India India often referred to him as Sher Shah, which means Lion King. Vikram Batra was born on 9th September 1974, a small town in Palampur, Himachal Pradesh. He was the third child of G. L. Batra, a government school principal, and Kamal Kanta Batra, a school teacher. He was the elder of twin sons and was born 14 minutes before his brother named Vishal. He received his primary education from his mother, from his mother who herself was a teacher. He then attended the DAV public public school in Palampur where he studied up to middle standard. He received his senior secondary education at Central School Palampur. Besides being brilliant at studies, Batra was a keen sportsman and represented his at Delhi. He excelled at many sports. However, it was in the table tennis where he truly excelled. In 1990, he and his twin brother Vishal represented their school in table tennis at All India KVS Nationals. He also was a green belt holder in Karat All India KVS Nationals. He also was a green belt holder in Karate and went on to attend a national level camp in Manali. After completing his class 12th board examinations in 1992 from Central School, he attended DAV College Chandi Arving of the NCC while he was in his first year. During the interstate NCC camp, he was adjudged the best NCC Arving cadet of Punjab Directorate in North Zone. He was selected and underwent a 40-day paratrooping training with his NCC Arving unit at his NCC Arving unit at Pinjor Airfield and Flying Club about 35 kilometers away from Chandigarh. During the next two years in DAV, he remained a cadet of the Army Wing of NCC. In addition, he was the president of Youth Service Club of his college. Following his bachelor's degree in 1995, he enrolled at Punjab University in Chandigarh, where he took admission in MA English course so that he could prepare for the Combined Defense Services examination. He attended evening classes at the university and worked part-time in the morning as a branch manager, a branch manager of a traveling agency in Chandigarh. I do not want to be a burden on you, Dad, he told his father. In 1996, he passed the CDS examination and subsequently received a call for an interview at the service selection board at Allahabad and was selected. He was among the top 35 candidates in the order of merit. After completing a year towards the degree of MA in English, he left the university to join the Indian Military Academy. In the words of his father, Vikram had found his purpose in life. He had found the way to a righteous path that would lead him to his goal, to extraordinarily high and supreme military career of Captain Vikram Batra. Batra joined the Indian Military Academy at Dehradun in 1996 June in the Manaksha Battalion. After completing his 19th month training course, he graduated from the course. He graduated from the IMA on 6th December 1997 and was commissioned as a lieutenant into the Indian Army. He was commissioned into the 13th Battalion of Jammu and Kashmir Rifles commonly known as 13 Jackriff. After commissioning, he was sent to Jabalpur. Training lasted one month from December 1997 to the end of January 1998. On completion of this training, he got his first posting at Sopur in Baramula district of Jammu and Kashmir, an area with significant militant activity. In mid-March 1998, he was sent to the infantry school at Mo Madhya Pradesh, where young army officers were trained for the young officers course. This training lasted five months until September 1998. Following completion of the course, 
and being awarded alpha grading he joined his battalion in sopur and his battalion in sopur in october 1998 during his posting in sopur batra had several encounters with militants in one of those encounters when batra was leading an ambush with his platoon into an area of dense forest he had a miraculous escape when a bullet fired by him and struck one of Batra's men behind him killing the soldier believing that the bullet was meant for him and not his colleague he ordered his men to nab the militants and by morning all of the militants were killed Batra however was saddened because he knew that the bullet was meant for him didi didi it was meant for me and i lost my man he had told his sister over the phone In January 1999 Batra was sent on a commando course at Belgam Karnataka where he excelled the course lasted for 2 months and at the end of it he was awarded the high awarded the highest grading the instructor's grade every time when he came home to palampur on leave he would visit newgal cafe batra last came home on leave from the army in 1999 during the holy festival for a few days during that time when he went to the cafe for a coffee he met full in the war to which batra replied i'll either come back after raising the indian flag in victory or return wrapped in it but i'll come for sure after his leave he returned to join his battalion in sopur the 13th jackrif after completing its ci ops tenure in kashmir under tenure in kashmir under 192 mountain brigade of 8 mountain division received orders to proceed shahjanpur uttar pradesh the battalion's advance party under major yk joshi had reached its destination when on june 5 because of the outbreak of the war its deployment was to move to dras batra perform, informed his parents about his movement and assured them they need not worry about him he would call his parents at least once in 10 days the last phone call he made was on 29th june 1999 in which he said mommy i am absolutely fine i am absolutely fine you don't worry this was the last time that batra spoke to his mother beginning his service as a lieutenant he rose to the rank of captain capture of 0.5140 the task of capturing 0.5140 a strategically important mountain peak in the dras sector in peak in the dras sector was assigned to 13 jk rif under the command of lieutenant colonel yk joshi on 17th june 1999 on 18th june the battalion carried out a detailed reconnaissance of 0.5140 which revealed the enemy had put in place seven sangat put in place seven sangars on the future two on the top four towards the east and one towards the north it also revealed the eastern approach to the feature was comparatively easier than that from the front which had a near vertical climb dominated by the top though it was more heavily defended to capture the top before dawn or else the enemy would inflict maximum casualties on them Joshi decided to attack point 5140 with Bravo Company under the command of Lieutenant Sanjeev Singh Jamwal and the Delta Company under the command of Lieutenant Vikram Lieutenant Vikram Batra from two sides east and south at the hump complex the two officers Jamwal and Batra received their briefing about the mission from Joshi During the briefing Jamwal chose the words oh yeah yeah to be the success signal for his company while Batra chose the words e dil mange more which means this heart wants more as his success signal for his company under the cover of artillery fire the two assault companies began climbing 0.5140 after midnight on 20th june the artillery at hump complex had already bombardment of 0.5140 as planned the artillery guns would stop firing when the troops were 200 meters short of the objective once the artillery guns had ceased firing this the pakistani soldiers immediately came out of their bunkers and put down heavy bunkers and put down heavy fire with their machine guns on the advancing indian soldiers at that moment 
Wood, Jamwal and Batra, realizing the gravity of the situation, contacted commanders at the base via radio asking to continue artillery bombardment of the enemy positions till the company. By 03.15 hours, both B and D companies had reached the point 5140. Despite the terrain, B company reached the top of the feature first and assaulted from the left flank. By 03.30 hours, B company had captured its objective left flank. By 03.30 hours, B company had captured its objective. At 03.35 hours, Jamwal radioed his command post saying the words oh yeah yeah. Batra decided to approach the hill from the rear aiming to surprise the enemy and to cut off their withdrawal route. Batra fired before attacking them. He and his men ascended the sheer rock cliff but as the group neared the top, the enemy pinned them on the face of the bad cliff with machine gun fire. Batra along with five of his men climbed up regardless and after reaching the top, hurled two grenades at on regrouping his two grenades at on regrouping his men to continue with the mission he continued to lead his troops and then charged at the next enemy position capturing point 5140 in all its actions his company killed at least eight pakistani intruders and recovered a heavy anti craft machine gun enemy soldiers fled at 0435 has batra radioed his command post saying the words edil mange mor considerable quantities of arms and ammunition were recovered from the feature the captured munitions indicated the enemy strength was about a platoon neither b or d companies suffered any casualty quarters that point 5140 had been captured the brigade commander asked joshi about the casualties his reply was there was not a single casualty not a single soldier died in the operation the capture of 5140 set in motion a string of successes such as the captures of point motion a string of successes such as the captures of point 5100 point 4700 junction peak and the three pimple complex after the capture of point 5140 batra was promoted to the rank of captain general ved prakash malik the then chief of army the then chief of army staff called to congratulate him all across the nation his triumph was being played out on television screens assignment for patras battalion was to capture the point 4875 a strategically important peak located next assignment for patras battalion was to capture the point 4875 a strategically important peak located in mushko valley since the feature dominated the national highway completely from dras to mathayan it became imperative for the indian army to capture this notorious point for a pakistani artillery observers could easily see indian gun positions army camps and troop movement and bring down effective artillery fire at will on 1st july 1999 major s vijaya baskar a company commander and lieutenant colonel joshi commanding of Uh, a company commander and lieutenant colonel joshi commanding officer of the 13 jack rifles conducted their preliminary reconnaissance after climbing to a vantage point and formulated an attack plan subsequently on 2nd july general officer commanding the 8th mountain division major general Dear rajesh kumar khakar commander 79 mountain brigades and lieutenant colonel yk joshi commanding officer 13 jack rifles gathered at 79 mountain brigades headquarters to discuss the plan during the day of 4th july the company commanders of a and c companies major s v baskar major gup Preet Singh conducted their final reconnaissance and showed the objectives to their O groups. At 18 hours that same day, artillery bombardment of the enemy positions on point 4875 commenced and continued non-stop throughout the whole night. At 20:30 hours in the pitch stop throughout the whole night.
at 2030 has in the pitch black night under cover of artillery fire anc companies began climbing the point 4875 Captain Vikram Batra was lying in a sleeping bag in a tent on the rocky ground near Mushko Nula and was down with had launched its attack. Both the assault companies were leading the offensive from the right flank. The climbing was difficult and the soldiers had to take out enemy pockets of resistance which they encountered en route. However, at one point a strat- strategically located machine gun halted the advance and the first strat- strategically located machine gun halted the advance and the first light the troops were still 50 meters short of the target. Now it was getting dangerous because in daylight Indian soldiers could easily be seen by Pakistanis. The attack was also halted by very effective sniper fire from Pakistan. The attack was also halted by very effective sniper a fire from pakistani soldiers hiding behind rocks at 0430 has the two companies had deployed their automatic weapons and began to fire at the very strong well fortified enemy positions at the top of the feature the enemy was bringing down at around 1015 has on 5th july the commanding officer of c company spoke to the battalion commanding officer and explained his company predicament and the area from where the enemy was bringing in effective fire on them brigadier khakar was personally supervising operation fire on them brigadier khakar was personally supervising operations at this juncture the battalion commanding officer lieutenant colonel joshi personally fired two fagot missiles in quick succession from the fire base and neutralized the enemy position brigadier khakar watched the firing of the missiles by binoculars bulls i you have got them he said to joshi over the wireless the bunker received a direct hit and the enemy soldiers were seen fleeing from it the indian troops then promptly began advancing them soon company c with two sections led by major gurpit by 1300 has the troops had captured point 4875 subsequently both a and c companies linked up they then consolidated their hold on to point 4875 however the indian troops continued to receive enemy artillery and machine gun the indian troops continued to receive enemy artillery and machine gun fire from pimple to an area north of point 4875 at 2200 hertz on july 5 from a pakistani position north of point 4875 the enemy brought heavy and accurate fire they were in heavy fire fight and were running out of ammunition company b the reserve company promptly brought up the ammunition after which the fire fight continued the indian victory would not have been complete without the capture of area flat top an adjacent peak and part of enemy defenses on point 48 top an adjacent peak and part of enemy defenses on point 4875 the 13 jack rifles had captured flat top feature of point 4875 on the afternoon of 5th july after a fierce battle with pakistani forces but the enemy launched an immediate flat top they had lost young captain n a nagappa was holding the flat top he had a small force but he fought ferociously to beat back the offensive the first counter attack was beaten back the pakistanis too were facing the same problem of climbing with the indian army on top shooting at them it is not that they did not have the will to do it but the carpet firing by our troops did not let them come to the top a 79 infantry brigade officer said there was a seesaw battle taking place at the area flat top all of a sudden a shell hit area flat top seriously injuring captain nagap a shell hit area flat top seriously injuring captain nagappa who was shooting at the advancing pakistani soldiers splinters pierced through both his legs and he fell unconscious taking advantage of this situation the pakistanis started climbing faster suddenly batra in the words i'll go up sir seeing him and well the commanding officer did not have a heart to let him go but batra insisted on it that same day the enemy launched a second counter attack on flat top and although the indian troops succeeded in beating back this to they urgently needed reinforcements succeeded in beating back this 
to they urgently needed reinforcements. Seeing Batra's determination to save Peak 4875 and the honor of his battalion, several of his battalion soldiers volunteered to accompany him even before any company could be ordered. Despite strict rules where soldiers cannot quit any company could be ordered. Despite strict rules where soldiers cannot question the orders of their seniors. Several soldiers literally pleaded for permission to accompany Bhatra even at the cost of earning severe displeasure of the commanding officer. The soldiers were so moved that they were willing to be jailed or court -marked. Jackriff officer said. Just before leaving, Batra, along with the 25 men of his Delta company who were to accompany him, prayed at the Durga Mata temple. It was pitch black night when they began the climb, having heard a wireless message from the base that Shersha, Batra's code name, was coming. A cheer went from the base that Shersha, Batra's code name, was coming. A cheer went up among the tired Indian soldiers on top. The commander ordered them to hold their ground until Sher Shah arrived and then he would take over. The Pakistanis too intercepted the wireless message where the base told the peak that was coming. They knew Batra, the first man on top of peak 5140 in Tras, was Sher Shah and broke into the Indian wireless system to threaten him. Underrated Batra kept climbing, said a soldier who accompanied him. At 0530 hours, Lieutenant Colonel Josh asked him to reconnoiter the area. Batra, accompanied by Subedar Raghunath Singh and Major Bat, his artillery observation officer, took out a patrol to receive a route to reinforce Naveen from a flank. Batra located the position of the enemy Sangar on the ledge from which enemy machine guns the position of the enemy Sangar on the ledge from which enemy machine guns were holding up the advance of his company. At this juncture, Batra, realizing there was no way from the left or right, decided to make a direct assault in daylight itself. At great personal risk and under heavy fire from enemy machine guns, Durga Mata Ki Jai and charged the Sangar firing incessantly from his AK-47. He sustained grievous injuries in the process, yet he continued his charge with supporting fire from the rest of the patrol and upon reaching the very narrow entrance of the Sangar and taking the enemy by complete surprise very narrow entrance of the Sangar and taking the enemy by complete surprise he killed five Pakistani soldiers in a close quarter battle. There was a time he grappled with a Pakistani soldier, punching him in the nose. As soon as he fell, Batra plunged his bayonet into the fallen soldier's stomach, but he too was done to death after being thrown off the back by Batra, the ferocious. All hell broke loose. It was utter chaos. A soldier of Chakrav who accompanied him in the attack said, attack resulted in seven Pakistani soldiers killed after which the Indians gained on the ledge. Taken up by surprise by this ferocious attack, Pakistanis started retreating. Batra and his men had gained the upper hand by now. However, there was still an enemy machine gun list in action on that ledge that had to be silenced. Four Pakistani soldiers, including a junior, putting the fire on the Indian soldiers fighting outside were manning the machine gun nest. Enraged Batra quickly charged forward alone, killing all four members of the crew. Suddenly, Batra realized one of his men had been shot. Turning his face towards Subedar Raghunath Singh, Subedar Raghunath Singh, who was sitting behind a nearby boulder maintaining an iron grip on his AK-47, Batra shouted about the din of flying bullets as we will evacuate him, you and I. With bullets flying around him, he pushed the JCO toward the safer side place instead, saying, You have a family and children to go back to. I am not even married. I will take the head and you take his feet. Batra courageously exposed himself to enemy fire to drag the injured soldier to safety and in the process was shot in the chest by an enemy sniper from very close range and a split second later by a splinter from an RPG which hit him in the head. Batra collapsed next to the injured soldier, scumbling to the fatal wounds. In his book, 
Paramvir are heroes in battle. Major General Ayan Cardozo states, Ayan Cardozo states, Captain Vikram Bhatra always leading from the front and fully aware of the great danger of his mission. Display unparalleled courage and determination in eliminating a Pakistani position at ledge because he was aware of the importance of his task. His daring assault enabled the complete point 4875 and this broke the will of the enemy. His courage and action were well beyond the call of duty and he continued to take risks, ultimately making the supreme sacrifice in the finest traditions of the Indian Army. Vikram Bhatra was awarded the Paramvir Chakra, Intra was awarded the Paramvir Chakra, India's highest military honor on 15th August 1999, the 52nd anniversary of India's independence. His father G. L. Bhatra received the honor for his deceased son from the President of India, the late K. R. Narayanan. Vikram Bhatra has a signal to communicate mission success. He is also known for an interview in which he stated that Pakistani soldiers were aware of him. He was also honored with several landmarks being named after him. The historic capture of Point 4875 led to the mountain being named Bhatra Top in his honor of Point 4875 led to the mountain being named Bhatra Top in his honor. A hall at the service selection center Allahabad is named Vikram Bhatra Block. A residential area in the Jabalpur cantonment is called Captain Vikram Bhatra Enclave. And the combined cadets mess at the IMA is named including Bhatra stands at his alma mater DAV College, Chandigarh, honoring the services of the soldiers. Government College Palampur was later renamed in the memory of Batra. The college is renamed as Shahid Captain Vikram Batra Government College Palampur. New Delhi's Mukarab Chok and its flyover were renamed in honor of Batra in December 2019 as Shahid Captain Vikram Batra Chok. Shahid Captain Vikram Batra Stadium at Palampur was named after Batra. Punjab University Chandigarh dedicated state of the art indoor shooting range in indoor shooting range in honor of Captain Vikram Batra. The Indian Army paid tribute to Batra on 21st anniversary of his death in a video posted on its social media account. This video featured Batra's famous words, Edil Mangimur, and included people of all 